and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. We will be talking about all the lakes, the major lakes, along the Green and Colorado River, and we're going to get right out to it as we roll out to windy.com like we always do. And you can see that there's some precipitation possibly coming over here to Aspen, 0.56 inches, Glenwood, 0.67, Crest Butte, 0.42, Gunnison, 0.22. We come down here by Lake Navajo to, we come up to Telluride, 0.1, Montrose, 0.3. We come up to Peonina, 0.51. We go over to Grand Junction, 0.1. Aspen over here, 0.48. We go on the other side of the divide that starts at the Arkansas River, Leadville, that's 0.34. Just an interesting fact, the headwaters there for the Arkansas River start there. It's on the eastern side of the divide. Scoot out, we go to Steamboat springs you can see 0.39 i'm still working on some of these pronunciations you can help anyway let me know i'm still trying to get some of these down i'm working on it so right over here in between bell and glenwood springs just to the north you can see 1.7 inches now i'm sure this is new snow let's check it out as you can see there is new snow coming into the area so this is good news for snow lovers out there already we're already october 20th we're getting close to november it's that time of year it won't be too much longer snow over here eight inches possibly over in bell 7.69 let's check to see if the gfs is any different and it is they're only calling for 2.7 and then up to the north of glenwood springs over by Merker, just to the east of Merker, you're talking about 6.8 inches over by the headwaters of the colorado 2.3 so steamboat springs 2.4 we scoot up and you can see this is about it for new snow California will be talking about that on Tuesday nights I believe going forward so be looking for that as I got everything automated now so all I got to do is come in and do the video so let's keep on rolling here we're going to roll out to the Flaming Gorge like we always do that's where we'll start off this video tonight as we roll out to the Flaming Gorge you can see the current water level 6026.57 feet and that was Sunday October 20th 2024 at 2 p.m. the level is 20.43 feet below full pool of 6047 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.20 feet over the last seven days the lake is down 0 0.15 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 0 0.26 feet over the last 30 days flaming gorge is down 0 0.92 feet over the last six months the lake is down 1.04 feet and over the last year the lake is down 2.78 feet inflows are currently 372 and your outflows are currently 1012 and we continue to scoot on here as we go out to the flaming gorge three-year bar graph you can see that full pool is 6047 in 2022 we were looking at 611.93 feet in 2023 we were looking at 6029.35 feet today we're looking at 6026.57 feet inactive pool is 5871 deadpool is 5740 and we continue to scoot on percentage of capacity we are currently at 82.89 percent off the lake navajo we go to next as we roll out to Lake Navajo, you can see that the current water level is 640.62 feet. And that was on Sunday, October 20th, 2024 at 2 p.m. The level is 44.38 feet below full pool of 6,085 Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.033 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is down 0.67 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 1.45 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 2.89 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is down 2.95 feet. And over the last 12 months, the lake is down 5.69 feet. Your inflows are currently 1,057. Outflows are currently 540 and we continue to scoot on here we go to your three-year bar graph full pool is 6085 2022 the water level was 6020.23 feet last year in 2023 we we're looking at 6046.31 feet today in 2024 we are looking at 6040.62 feet and deadpool is 5775 and we continue to scoot on here and we go out to percentage of capacity for lake navajo and currently the percentage of capacity is 63.13 percent and we continue to scoot on over to blue mason next 
As we go out to Blue Mesa water level, you can see that it was much higher last year in 2023. Today, however, we're looking at 7,483.96 feet. And that was Sunday, October 20th, 2024 at 2 p.m. The level is 35.04 feet below full pool of 7,519. Changes since yesterday over the last 24 hours. The lake is down at 0.04 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is is down 1.49 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 2.91 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 4.65 feet over the last six months the lake is down 6.41 feet and over the last year blue mesa is down 9.93 feet your inflows are currently 185 and your outflows are 1354 and we continue to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see 7,519 feet is your full pool level. In 2022, we are looking at 7,442.97 feet. 2023, we are looking at 7,493.89 feet. 2024 today we're looking at 7,483.96 feet and Deadpool is 7,358 feet. We go out to percentage of capacity next. Percentage of capacity we are currently looking at 64.10% and let's go on over to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell you can see that the lake got Higher than last year, so that's fantastic. Around July 9th or so, we were looking at 3,587, and it has gone down. To looking at 3,576.72 feet, and that was October 20th, 2024, at 2 p.m. The level is 123.28 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.09 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down a half foot. Over the last four 14 days, the lake is down almost a foot, 0.99 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 2.07 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 7.17 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 3.79 feet. Your inflows are currently 7,077. Your outflows are 7,528. And let's continue to scoot on to your three-year bar graph is next. Your three-year bar graph, we're looking at full pool of 3,700. 2022, the level was 3,530.35 3 feet. In 2023, we're looking at 5,373.09 feet. Today, we're looking at 3,577.29 feet. Inactive pool is 3,490, and dead pool is 3,370. And let's go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percentage of capacity at Lake Powell is 37.18%. Let's roll out to Lake Mead next. And that takes me to today's sponsor, and believe it or not, these sponsors are contribute by people like yourself i appreciate everybody that comes to my channel clicks on it what you could do is hit the like and subscribe button that would definitely help and share this video out with your friends and family that way we can get some more support if you feel obliged and you like the content i do i work really hard on graphs and trying to make the content consistently better you guys can send a super thanks it would be much appreciated it's well thoughtful and i appreciate everybody that has done it in the past and it's people like you that give me the encouragement to continue to go on and do this content every week so with that let's get out to lake mead as we roll out to lake mead you can see that the current water level at lake mead is 1063.20 feet and this was on sunday october 20th 2024 at 2 p.m the level is 156.49 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, over the last 24 hours, the lake is down 0.09 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.62 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.84 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.56 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 4.94 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 2.86 feet. Your inflows, none available today. Not sure why, but we'll look into that. And your outflows are 9,645. And let's continue over to your three-year bar graph next. Your three-year bar graph, 1,219.60 feet is full pool, as we mentioned earlier. In 2022, the water level was 146.03 feet. 
2023, we're looking at 1,065.98 feet. Today, we're looking at 1,063.11 feet. Inactive pool is 950, and dead pool is 895. And let's go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, where you're currently looking at 33.50%. Let's roll down to Lake Mojave next. As we roll out to Lake Mojave, you can see it's clearly that time of year where they are releasing tons of water. And this is normal. This is what they do. It's to help the fish life in the lake, from my understanding. And we are currently looking at 634.2 feet. And this was Sunday, October 20th, 2024 at 2 p.m. The level is 12.76 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.88 feet over the last seven days the lake is down 0.99 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 2.89 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 5.35 feet over the last six months lake mojave is down 6.09 feet over the last year the lake is down 1.13 feet your inflows are 11,718 and your outflows are currently 9,000 171 and we continue to roll on out to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to the three-year bar graph you can see that full pool level 647 2022 we're looking at 634.36 feet 2023 we're looking at 635.37 feet 2024 we're looking at 634.24 feet and deadpool 533 feet let's continue out to percentage of capacity currently at lake mojave as we roll out to lake mojave's percentage of capacity you can see that we are currently in the blue at 82.26 percent and let's roll down to lake havasu my final and favorite stop of the night beautiful area actually all these lakes are beautiful I, i'd be lying to say otherwise anyhow lake Lake Havasu, here we come. And we're rolling out, and you can see Lake Havasu always fluctuates quite a bit. Today we're looking at 447.14 feet, and that was October 20th, 2024, 2 p.m. The level is 2.86 feet below full pool of 450. Over the last 24 hours, the lake is down 0.03 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.20 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 0.41 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.67 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 0.67 feet. And over the last 12 months, the lake is down 0.79 feet. Inflows are currently 9,536 and your outflows are 7,337. Let's go out to the three-year bar graph next. And your full pool level, like always, is 450. In 2022, we're looking at 448.91 feet. 2023, we're looking at 447.93 feet. Today, we're looking at 447.14 feet. Inactive pools 440 and dead pools 400. So we got a long way to go before we ever get to that. And generally this lake fills up and it stays pretty full. And for our final stop tonight, we are at Lake Havasu and we will be doing the percentage of capacity. And our current percentage of capacity is 91.09%. Thank you guys for stopping by. And that's all I have for tonight. God bless.